Hello friends, this is Shravan. This is my YouTube channel, Civil Engineering by Shravan. To subscribe my channel, click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates. In this video, I will explain you definition which is related to the cracks in building and uh, different types of repair methods which are generally used for construction purpose and prevention methods which is taken before construction of any type of the project. Okay, so let's start with our uh, today video. Crack in a building is general thing. Generally, we will observe for the respected buildings. So the cracking effect in the building generally caused due to presence of the higher load case which is comes from the respected structural. So as per the structural design point of view, you need to consider the load cases properly before uh, construction process. So for example, let us consider uh, I am constructing G plus 2 building. So we have to take the G plus 2 building as per the grade consideration before designing any one of the building of your respected G plus 2, we have to consider the grade. Grade is nothing but the amount of the load which is comes uh, from the structure so for example just i'm considering m15 grade of the concrete for the respected construction uh, for designing of this respected g plus 2 building so if in case if the loading case which is greater than a 15 grade which is nothing but for example my uh, building of g plus 2 is having the load case of 16 mpa that is greater than your 15 uh, mpa so that's why the overloading on the structure will be effect on the cracking effect of the building so generally we will observe the cracking effect will be applicable only for the wall member generally we will observe wall member why because the load whatever the load which is uh, comes from the respected dead load or live load or floor load or ethnic load or wind load which is directly transferred to the respected slab member the slab member is directly transferred the load to the beams whatever the beams is that load will be transferred to the excess of uh, that will be transferred to the respected column so in this respected process the overloading which is nothing but your respected excess of one mpa load which is directly transferred to the respected wall member for the beam section okay so that's why the overloading on the wall will be exceeding as per the specifications okay so that's why the overloading of the wall will be occur so due to that reason the cracking effect will be observed in case of the wall sections only so the cracking effect of the building will be observed uh, in case of the slab also in case of the beam also in case of the uh, column also but major thing is it was mainly observed in wall section due to presence of the respected structure overloading generally cracks are classified into two types first one is structural crack and second one is non structural crack so structural crack is nothing but the uh, due to its own weight of the structure the cracks will be obtained for the respected structure so second one is non structural crack due to presence of the external load cases which is comes from the building so we have to consider this respected factor for non structural crack so these are the two types of the cracks now i will explain you different uh, methods to repair the cracks so basically most of the engineers are used this respected three methods for uh, repairs of the cracking effect on the building okay so first method is epoxy injection method okay first method is epoxy injection method so in this method what we do uh, initially we have to select the uh, chemical which is uh, helpful for decreasing the cracking effect so after selecting the chemical we have to inject that respected chemical into the crack after injection process completed the chemical which is there in the crack which is uh, give the bonding strength between the uh, walls of this respected distance of the crack so that's why we can decrease the cracking effect uh, by using this method also so but uh, this method is most uh, economical method so most of the civil engineers are only concentrating on the another type of the method second method is routing and sealing so this is one of the most important method most of the civil engineers are using in this respected method so before uh, decreasing the cracking effect of any kind of the uh, wall sections initially we have to uh, remove the excess of the portion which is near to the respected crack so after uh, removing the excess of the portion we have to fill that respected crack uh, with with the help of the cement motor only cement motor we have to uh, place that respected cement motor uh, for the respected concrete section okay so after uh, placing the cement motor we have to cure that respected surface uh, within uh, 7 or 14 or 28 days depending upon your strength of the concrete and uh, material properties you are considered okay so basically we will do 28 days of the curing method for getting maximum strength so after applying the cement motor 
water and after curing process is completed we have to check the strength by using rebar hammer test okay by using rebar hammer test we we have to consider the strength values of the compressive strength after this process so this is the second method which is nothing but uh, routing as well as sealing so this is one of the most important method third method is stretching method so this is the third method generally uh, we will use for decreasing the cracking effect so initially we have to make the holes uh, which is near to the respected crack so after making the holes we have to insert a bar for the respected stretching purpose so by using this method also we can increase the bonding action between the uh, wall sections to decrease the cracking effect so these three methods which is related to your epoxy injection method routing and sealing method and third one is uh, stitching method these three methods are generally helpful for decreasing the cracking effect in the building okay so this is the methods of decreasing the crack so but uh, before construction of any kind of the building we have to take the precautions okay so precautions we have to take the precautions for uh, reducing the cracking effect on the building so those pre precautions are first one is choice of the material so choice of the material is major concern we need to consider before construction of the any kind of the building so initially we have to find out the material properties as per the is codal provision so after finding the material properties we have to take the data as per the uh, is codal provision standards so we have to compare those respected data with the observed value of material properties so if the material properties reaching the uh, is codal provisions we have to consider those respected materials for the construction so this is the first one we have to consider material properties for prevention of the cracks second one is specification of materials and concrete specification in the sense selection of the grade of the concrete or grade of the cement motor so this is also one of the major important factor we need to consider before construction of any kind of the building so generally for construction of any kind of the building for example let us consider i was explained g plus 2 building i was considered that G, uh, m15 grade of the concrete so for that respected m15 grade of the concrete initially we had to take the safety factor so for example just i'm considering m20 grade of the concrete for construction of the respected building so that's why just i'm in increasing the grade of the concrete which is nothing but the we are increasing the strength of the concrete so that is the major thing we have to consider before uh, starting designing of any kind of the building model okay so this is the second one so in the same way we have to consider the safety factor before considering the cement motor for the respected uh, construction of the building so this is also one of the most important factor we need to consider for decreasing of the cracking effect in the building okay so this is the second one third one is designing of the building so designing of the building is also major concern most of the civil engineers are uh, doing the mistakes in designing of the building sections so as per the safety precautions as per the dimensions of the beam and as per the loading distribution as per the uh, weight of the structure we have to consider the specifications or else we have to consider the problem statement of the respected building like beam size column size grade of the concrete soil type and uh, earthquake loading condition wind loading conditions as per the safety precautions so if you take any one of the safety precautions as per the codal provisions so it will definitely give you decreasing the cracking effect for the respected structure okay so this is the third concern we need to consider uh, precautions for the respected decreasing of the cracking effect fourth factor is construction practices and technologies nowadays most of the people are using uh, simple construction practices as well as new technologies so at the same time we have to consider the uh, cracking effect also on the building depending upon the safety precautions which is concerned for uh, building designs so this is also one of the most important factor we have to uh, choose the proper technology and proper methodology for prevention of the cracks okay so this is the fourth one last one is environmental effect okay so environmental effect is also one of the most important concern we have to take so we have to take the suitable values of the respected ethnic zone and we have to take the values of that respected wind conditions as per the safety which is provided by the is 1893 code and is 875 code so we have to take the safety measurements from that respected guidelines so based on those respected guidelines we have to follow the building designs so these are the five factors we have to consider uh, for prevention of the cracks so this is the process repairs in the cracking effect of the building and the prevention methods which are followed for the respected decreasing the, the uh, cracking effect repair methods are epoxy injection method second one is routing and sealing third one is stretching method and uh, prevention of the respected uh, structure are 
choosing of the material is one concern and uh, uh, specifications of the grade of the concrete and uh, grade of the cement mortar is another one design of the building and uh, fourth one is uh, construction practices as well as uh, what we call new technologies fourth one and fifth one is environmental condition if you have any queries about the cracking effect of the building you can text me on the below comment box so that uh, so that i will give you the replay for the respected cracking effect of the building thank you